<laughs> you ready for this right here? Hell yeah. Man, welcome back. Let me calm down. Welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl and dad. And your boy, Stanley. What channel is this? Don't matter. Queen I think it's random because we about ready to go random on God doing dollars. How much? I had to put the real shirts on today. Yeah. I wasn't ready for this, but I should have been ready because what had happened was Woodrow hit me up on Twitter was like, hey, I know y'all about to go all the way off. And I'm like, what the hell happened? I ain't gonna watch it till I get off from work. Then Sabrina was on Instagram talking about some, please don't go too hard on Dollar. And I was like, man, what the hell did Dollar do? And then when I got on um, YouTube for the day, scrolling through, cause I don't watch nobody reviews until I do my own. Yeah. I saw James in there and his was over 20 minutes long. And I said, uh -huh, I know he <laughs> will. something happened. Yeah. Because he don't talk as long as we do. 20 minutes for James? <laughs> he went off and I can't wait to hear what the hell he got to say about banana pudding. Because, <laughs> listen, let me let me go back. Let me get, let me get myself together. Yeah. Listen, on the real, on the real, on the serious note, we had one of our um, loyal subscribers, um, Maurice Thomas. He had a stroke last week. And he said he's doing better, but he want everybody to pray for him. So, you know, that's something very serious. So mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and you know, pray for him, send him good vibes and all that good stuff. Amen. And then another one of our subscribers, he actually watches us on Empire, where Empire didn't come on this week. And he wanted a birthday shout out. So happy birthday, Dre. And his real name is Daryl Bell. So happy birthday to you. Hope you enjoyed it to the fullest. Amen. Now let's get into this mess right here. And before we get into it, we got to forget because we got to do house cleaning. Make sure yeah. you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so when our videos come out, you can be the first one to know it so you can watch that bad boy. You know what I don't understand? I'm going to go ahead and say this. Yeah. If you've been watching us for any amount of time and you ain't hit the subscribe button, see, listen, how, view it like this. You've been watching somebody You've been peeping through the windows, but you ain't never um, rung the doorbell and introduce yourself. That's the same thing when you come over yeah. on YouTube, keep watching people's stuff, and don't subscribe. Hey. You, are, you are peeping Tom. Hey. You might as well subscribe. It, it don't cost coming. you a dime. You might as well introduce yourself. You can click it in less than five, in less than a second, millimeter of a second. And let's do click, it. Click, click, and it's on. All right, let's do it. All right. Y'all thought that I had fibromyalgia. I didn't really buy it because I thought that that was too easy. And that's not the way that Ava writes stuff. You know, she's very thoughtful in her writing parody. So I said, it's got to be something other than fibromyalgia. Well, come mm -hmm. to find out she has lupus. lupus. And um, lupus is very serious as well. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that it's a mother buck of. Yeah. If you know anybody that deals with it, it is a mother buck of. Mm -hmm. um, so... Aunt Vi has also promised Darla that she was going to help host the dinner for, um, was it her, when her parents came to town? No, yeah. the reception. No, don't matter. She was going yeah. to cook some food. Yeah. But you know how it go. As soon as the doctor tell you you really got something, then you feel everything. Yep. And you don't feel like doing nothing. If they tell you you got a lump in your breast, all of a sudden your breast feel like it's going to fall off. Mm -hmm. It's just the way the brain works. Yep. We see Unvi, she's over there at her house. And you know Unvi old school. She ain't got Google up. She got real books researching uh -huh. her yep. ailments and what's her condition and things that she can do. And I'm proud of her for that. Because if yes, you went indeed. to Google, do Google the hell you thinking you're going to die. That's right. <laughs> so you got to become your own doctor sometimes. Hello. Hey. So I'm by, she called Dolla to tell Dolla, hey, I'm sorry to do you like this. I know yeah, I promised to do something. Stuff. But she didn't do, she did it like every old school person did. They ain't going to tell you what really happened. They're going to give you an excuse mm -hmm. to get you off their back. But she said, listen, I help you pay for um, a nice catered meal over at the High Yellow and all that good stuff. You won't be without food. Now I'll make you a good old pie and you know, and it'll, it'll be all good. So Dolla knew something was up with Aunt Vi. Yeah. But she went on and bought the story and, and did how she had to do. Then we see Calvin. Calvin up there looking like Robin Thicke. Yeah. He don't came back up in that in Nova's presence. Nova can't get herself back together. Nova's she went in a day. She was just, her friend was like, hey, yeah. Craig. Hey, Craig. I think I hear my heartbeat, man. That's what it's hey, supposed Craig. to do. That's what it's supposed to do. Calvin took her there, boy. Took her all the way there. Calvin came over there and said, hey, mm, you know, it's real good to see you. She was like, good to see you, too. Nova's good, good girlfriend was like, 
So should I leave? Yeah, cause you ain't never told me about this one right here. She said some things are just better left unsaid. She was like, whatever. Calvin said, you know what? I'll holler at you later. I'm gonna yeah, call I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna you a call. He did one better. He showed, showed up. up. Well, we knew he gonna show up. And Calvin, listen, this night right here was a night of a whole lot of blocking. Nobody, yes. we gonna get there. Whole lot of dingling blocking. Whole lot of it. Well, Calvin came over there, and we re I really thought that him and Nova was going to pick up where they left off at. Uh -huh. Everything was going to be the way that it used. Because as much as we loved her and the good doctor together, something about her and Calvin's chemistry is off the freaking meter. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, or I don't know how it goes, but it is there, and we can't deny it. He came over there, and he told Nova, he said, listen, when I'm with you, it's the first time that I, or that's the only time that I feel free. I'll be free, he. Yes, I Yes, do. I do. But you forgot she would have had that brown looker. That's why, that's what we know was going down. I said, well, she bringing the brown looker and he showed up. Said brown make the panties come down. So, he, he went on and told his life story about how he's always been what everybody else wanted him to be. He's a cop because his dad did this. He's married because he felt like that was the next step in his relationship. His wife wanted kids, so therefore he had kids. And being with her is the only time he actually feels free to be himself because she's free. She looked at him and she was like, you know what? But you're a prison. Yeah. And I said, what? And I was like, huh? And he was like, come again? She was like, how in the world am I going to explain my fight for my people and the love that I have for my people? And when I come back from fighting for my people, I sleep white. And not only white, but a white cop. Yeah. Now I that's know. been something we've been, been talking asking about for, forever. How do you how do you do that? I know it can yeah. be done, but it, it's almost like he would eventually have to not be a cop. Yeah. He would have to give that up, cause it's no way that she really can go in the way that she really wants to, because the place she's going against is where he worked. So if she take mm -hmm. if she take that place down, that's the income for the house. So you need to get a job landscaping or, or something. <laughs> get away from it. Help help him with the fight. But at the end of the day, he still can't, he's still Eminem though. He's still white. Yeah. But hell, Eminem blacker than most of us. But she told him like Robin Thicke, the lines have been blurred. <laughs> blurred lines. <laughs> you think you want it? <laughs> I'm not doing this with you today. <sighs> so she basically told him, said, hey, I know this is what we feel and this is what we want, but it just ain't meant to be. It, it is what it is, player. And he went on and he left on up out of there, but I was confused because didn't he show up at nighttime? And he left in the morning. And he left in the morning? So I and we, so. did y'all sleep the night away? Say, so, did you? Uh, uh, I, don't even worry about yeah, it. Yeah. Well, we about to get into the good stuff. Did you turn the AC on? Cause I'm in here getting hot. I turned the AC on, yeah, so we can get cool down. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah, sometimes we just can't get the temperature right in this place. Yes. We got that new unit out there. Yeah. You put it. You put it on one degree higher. You burn up. You one you degree know, lower. You it's, freeze. It's, it's Alaska in here. Uh huh. He told us that though. He did tell us. He did tell us but that. But he can be back next month. Yeah. To do some tweaking. So um, the struggle couple. <laughs> We saw them having a nice little engagement of dancing, and for once, they actually look like, huh, we're going to breathe a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Rob got a job over there at the shrimp place, yeah, he and he ain't even complaining like yeah, that. Yeah, he, he, he's excited about it. He yeah. there washing off his gumboots and everything. He said uh -huh. he don't want to get the fifth of, uh, shrimp smell in the house. He know. even got some shrimp for the house. Uh-huh, yep. Got a nice little glow on him. Like yeah. Kanye said, I can't feel my face when I'm with you. <laughs> and I said, okay. Everything yeah. looking up. The sisters are over there. Mm -hmm. Everybody dancing. Our vibe come on over there. She dancing. Little Blue over there. He want to look nice because he's never had a grandma before. So uh -huh. he don't know how this works. He don't know what to call him. He don't know what to call yeah. grandpa, grandpa G. Because he, he was like, I'm not going to be disrespectful to my real grandpa. And give yeah. him his name too. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't get that twisted. And all of a sudden... They, they were standing out on that porch looking like they were waiting they for somebody like, to pick them up. Like, I said, why y'all look like them old pictures and be in them old houses? They like, yeah. <laughs> but I know why. Her parents pulled up. 
and a Toyota. Darlene and Quincy. You'll never find blum 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 a hairline like mine. Y'all remember that? On, on, all about the Benjamins. He old and thick now, but back then he was small and his hairline was way back. He then. said, "When you go to the army, you got to salute like this." Yes, yes sir. <laughs> that was my part. So, Darlene is standing there, and of course, you know everybody exchanged their hellos. And Blue goes over there to Darlene. Darlene said, can you know, can I give you a hug? Or it was either the one way around, I don't remember. But she had an exchange with Blue. And it was, you could tell it was very genuine. Yeah. And then Blue went ahead and did what Blue do. He went over there and he hugged his new papa or grandpa, whatever he's going to call him. Darla's daddy looked like he won't go make yeah, it. Yeah, he won't go make it. He tried his best. He I was, said. He was packing his life. I said, wait a minute. <clears throat> But I think that was his first time embracing Blue, right? First time they've seen him, I think. Yeah, first time they've seen him. Yeah. So I said, okay, this is starting off a little little on the emotional side. Let's uh -huh. eat. We got to break this skit up. Yeah, right. Man, say, Come on, let's go on inside and eat. So they all sitting at the table. And they're conversing. And immediately I thought that daddy was being an a-hole. Yeah. Let yeah. me just go ahead and put it out there like that. That's because the... Oh, I got to hold it back. You got to hold it back. I got to hold it back. That, uh, so the dad the dad is very much like the good Dr. Dubois and like really anybody else that really wants to see someone succeed he told Nova he said I saw you know what y'all did on TV excellent and I think TV is where you need to be is where you're going to excel at and of course Nova shot that down mm, that ain't what I'm oh, yeah, whatever and then he turns and looks at um Charlie. Charlie told Charlie, say, you know, what you're doing is amazing. Going from what you were doing with your husband to being the first black um, sh um, sugar mill owner in the United States. Yeah. That is an amazing accomplishment. I see nothing but great things in your future. So Charlie took this opportunity to bring um, to reflect all in dollars. That accomplishments into the conversation and she yeah. was like you know as great as i am i wouldn't have been able to do this without dollar's help you know she's this and she's that and her drive and this that and the third and the daddy said i'm sure my daughter could use to learn some things from oh. you and i was like i got pissed off i was like what and raw got pissed too he said hold on hold yeah. on Dollar has been Dollar has been doing real good, real say, nice. Say we can learn from her. She built her life back up from the ground up. And the daddy was looking at him like, "Bruh, you don't even know." Uh -huh. And I caught and I, it. Uh -huh. And I caught uh -huh. it because it'd be uh -huh. like when when somebody say something around me, and I'd be like, "Huh? I ain't saying nothing." But if you knew what I knew, all you I gotta shut say, up. we got pissed off because she got got us with the okie doke again. She didn't get me. Cause listen, let me tell y'all what. Whole bunch of y'all been pissed off with me ever since. Pissed sit. off to the highest. Pissed off. Ever since I spoke my piece about motivational speakers, which are crackheads. Yes. Yep. Um, and all of it. Y'all wouldn't even believe the bullshit that I be going through. People will actually write me emails talking about how insensitive I am about this. Let me tell y'all something. Let me give y'all a piece of um wisdom and a piece of information on that y'all don't want. Y'all might, might, might not even know. Get them. I will be 40 years old next year. My mom was a motivational speaker up until 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Y'all do the motherfucking math. I know this. Yep. I know their From kind. experience. I know every rule, every game, every trick that they do. And I, I came your life at the tail end, so I experienced a little hello. bit Hello. So I know. Them motivational speakers, them pyramid schemers, they ain't uh, nothing but a motherfucker. They powerful. And I knew it. And y'all was pissed off with me because mm -hmm. I was speaking that goddamn truth. And I was yep. like, mm, she ain't fooling me with this. Yep. I will give her her props for her accomplishments. But that right there, uh -huh. whoever wrote her part, they either was a crackhead, crackhead or no a crackhead. Cause that is so freaking accurate. I mean, yep. this is the right on, best right accuracy point. that I've ever seen. Which brings us to the freaking point scene with her and her mama. <sighs> well, let's go ahead and talk about this part right here. You, you this go, kinda, I, I'm ready to go. To, I'm ready to jump in the ring. This kind of was the freaking um step through the door. And I knew right then and there, there was a story to be told that hasn't been told yet. Yeah. When Vi and her mama 
Dollar's oh, mama that yeah. ass. Was in the in Blue's room. We, yeah, they was in Blue Clue's room. Yeah. Getting his pajamas together. Yeah. And they were having a good old conversation yes, they were. about do you think what he what he's been through has affected him? This, that, the third. And they were talking like this conversation was not foreign to them. Like they yeah, knew. They each had other. been talking all along. They been talking all along, all so much so. Yeah. That Dollar's mama been sending a monthly check yes. to buy to help take yes. care of her goddamn grandson. So the first thing I thought was, these people are supposed to be bad. These ain't no goddamn bad people. They good people. I said, <laughs> all right. Strike got done. Yeah, one. strike one. Where yeah. is the real Cause, story? Because I said, I said, is this what they want? I said, I said, I said is, that, is that what they think we're going to be pissed off about? Well, I said, let it keep rolling. Uh, let, I let knew. Keep rolling. I let said, keep rolling. I said, where's the story? And then when I seen them on that porch and that rocking chair, some of them rocking chairs bring the truth out. Uh huh. Sitting on that rocking chair and weed. They were they had some good looking sweet tea over there. Was yeah, it real? Did, uh -huh. I don't know what real is. It did look good though. I said they had that's that sun tea. Um, dog, dog was over there. She was pitching her motivational speech. Uh huh. To Trying her to come mama. her mom sideways. She came at her sideways. And her mama came at her straight. Dollar said, so are you going to be a part of our lives and this, that, and the third? You know, because right now I really don't know where we stand with each other. And Dollar's mama was like, come again. And Dollar was like, listen, I've been writing to you for six years. And you never have once wrote me back. You haven't did anything. You haven't reached out. You haven't did anything. Dollar's mama said, Dollar, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this the story that you have sold these people? Huh. Because if you have sold them this story, then I'm highly, highly disappointed. disappointed. She said, listen, you are my daughter and I love you, yes. But how many times have you told me I'm not high no more? I'm clean. clean. I need help. I, I need money. Come pick me up. This, that, and the third. And she said, every time you did it, we came, yep. we ran, we gave mm -hmm. money, we yep. sent for Very you. accurate. We did all of this, and we did all of that. And at some point, I had to create a, a distance, distance for my own mm. sanity. Yes. And I can say that for my own self, because yes. when we was getting ready to get married, I had to do that with my own. Hey. <laughs> and I said, you know what? And until she had that stroke, we were not talking because I had to create a separation for my own sanity. Yeah. Huh. So I said, Mama, See, speak the goddamn truth. See, this whole time, she had us thinking that her parents was monsters. That they didn't want to be in her life. We had an inkling. We had a little bit clue mm -hmm. that it had something to do with the crack. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, we had an inkling, but we didn't know the total, total truth because she had us thinking, you know, I call them telling everybody, I call them That's what they and do. they ain't calling me back. You know, I'm doing all this and, and they ain't reciprocating. Whole time you done smoked them away. Yep. That's what you did. Mine did the same thing. Shoot. My daughter doing good up there. She didn't think about me. Don't do that. Lie. Don't do that. Because if you want me to tell a real story, huh. you better go on and shut it up. And that's what happens. And that's exactly what Dollar that's, did. That's what Dollar did. She did her motivational speech so that she, everyone could have pity on her. Yes. And everybody would start taking her side and they would start doing what Dollar wants, mm -hmm. feeling what Dollar wants them to feel so she can come in there with the okie doke yep. and get her way. So with that, when the parents came, everybody had this preconceived notion about these people. You could tell it was at the table. You could have cut the goddamn attention, attention with a, a goddamn butter knife up in there. Because they thought that these people was terrible. Because a motivational speaker planted that bird skin in their head. So you, you wait you wait till Nova them find out. They, no, hey! That's it, Nova. Oh, she gonna be pissed off. She barely let you back in. Barely. Barely let you back in. Now, <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. But the mama, I said, mama, you better come on. You better come with it. So Dollar came with her motivational speech. And she said, mama, you know what? I apologize. Mm -hmm. And right now I am clean. Mm -hmm. And I do need to make amends with you because being a mother, I understand how you feel now. Mm -hmm. And all of this. And the mama says, you know what? I forgive you. And I will accept that you are free, that you are clean, and that you are free. Because in order for you to be really free, you're going to have to make amends with everybody. everybody. 
And I said, everybody? And then she spoke about, and your father? <clears throat> she said, what about my dad? The mama wouldn't speak on it. Yeah. I said, well, what the hell's going on with that? And we really still didn't still really know get what, yeah. a true, tr I, I, I said, have an he, idea. Did he get sick? Did he have a heart? I mean, what, what happened? Yeah, it was, yeah. So, let's go ahead, because I don't want to go to the end yet. Yeah. Charlie and Remy. Charlie ready to give Remy a little bit of that butterscotch cake. That, yeah. that, no, the, the vanilla cake that we try to give yeah. with the caramel icing on it. He wants to do it, but he said, listen, I am a southern gentleman, and I have not dipped my pole into no leeks ever since my wife died. So I want to make sure I that when like, I do God this, door. this is solid. You know, I don't want to be just right here, dip, 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 dip. Yeah, I, ain't try, I don't want to be a player no more. Mm -mm. He ain't even trying to crush a lot. He said, listen, yeah. you know, when I, give me some time. You know, let's date, do something, and we'll figure this thing out. So when he decided to come back later on, Charlie was ready. Mm -hmm. She had her Vicky secret on, was yep. ready. And he was ready at this time, too, until he opened up his goddamn mouth, and he said, I want a couple of fellas. I want them, yep. And she said, forever? Ever? Forever? Did you, did you really forever? Did that pillow talk? Did you really mean that? But that's that's what dudes used to do. Yeah, it is. Yeah, be like, what you say? Did you say, I, I love you for, uh, uh, what? forever? Uh, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just came to get some puss. <laughs> and, you, and you think about marrying and kids. Picking oh. fences and boo. Uh -huh. And Charlie was like, listen, getting married, having another baby, because he even said he wanted kids. He mm -hmm. never was able to have kids. She said, I don't know if I'm ready for I'm barely out of my marriage right here, right yeah, now. Yeah, I felt I don't, on that one, yeah. I, it's too soon. Yeah, it it's is too, too soon. soon. So it she is said, too soon. I think we just need to have more conversation with each other. Yeah. Get to know what each other likes and all of that. And mm -hmm. we can just move forward from there. So I said, oh, I thought they was about to have a bang out moment. And yeah. he had to say something about a couple of fellas. But, uh, but I'm glad that um, that he did say that. Me so she can he can really find out where she was. Yeah, and she can go into it clear. Yeah, exactly. What she do need more time. She don't need to think on no marriage, no kids right now. Mm -hmm. She been over Davis herself. Hell, Mike almost out of high school. What you gonna start over for? Hey. <laughs> That's when, hey, college? Empty nester? Huh? Hey. <laughs> Turn up. <laughs> Say, so I can trick my that's, wife. That's what Charlie was like. Hey, Charlie said, I ain't trying to be get, get tied down right now. Mm -mm. Say, I'll give you something, but you ain't going to tie me down. Nah. So then Darla. We see Darla go out there to talk to her dad. And they said a lot without saying a lot. Yeah. And basically the father was like, um, you need to make amends with everyone in your life. You know? Yes, ba basically, baby girl, I, I'm here for you, mm -hmm. and I can see that you're trying, and I'm not even going to deny the fact that whether you clean or you sober, because that ain't even the fight right now. You look really good, but I think in order for you to go into a marriage, a healthy standing mm -hmm. relationship, you need to make amends with Ralph, Ralph Angel. Angel. You need to tell him the truth. And I said, I said, what? Well, because in my mind, in my mind. I was like, what? hadn't she already made amends? Ain't that the reason that he got on his knee and struggled to get that freaking ring from Walmart and put it on layaway like I did? <laughs> in the dark? Uh-huh. Ain't that what... <laughs> he went out there working the cane field and all that to get that? Ain't that already done happened? And then we saw Ralph Angel out there cleaning them gum boots again. And I said, he been to work again? It don't matter. It don't matter. He, he out there making the paper. So he can give Dollar, I mean, a the motivational wit. speaker, a good wit. She comes out that back door, and she looking at him, and when she said, "I love you," I said, "Oh hell, Here it is. Here it motherfucking is. I don't, I, I, Please I don't, don't hate you, me. I don't want you to hate me." She said, "I hate myself every day for this." He said, "Dollar." Dollars. You scared me right now. You scared me. What, what you got? I think he already thought she'd get ready to say I'm back on crack again. Well, that's what everybody thought from that's the previews. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> she said, listen, when we first got together, we went to D.C. I said, oh, oh hell. Oh, yep. And D.C.? We, Why do they always come back to the DMV? Because we're crazy as hell. <laughs> And if you come to the DMV, you're getting high. You go into the strip clubs. You go into a go-go live. 
and you're gonna get turned all the way up. And whatever that leads to, it leads to this bullshit right here. Yeah. Because she said, I mess with drugs the strong kind. What kind of drugs that you talking about? Yeah, she said the strong. So I'm like, stronger than crack? What the hell was Yeah, what was you smoking? She said, I got turned up with my girlfriend. From high school. And I messed around with this dude this one time. And I said, dollar. Mm -hmm. I said, there you go. You better, you better not you, put in complected. You better, you better not be saying what I think you saying right now. You better not be saying it. You... I can't wait to hear what Ashley Miller and James got to say about oh. this book skit. She said, I don't know. It blew his jobs. He said, blue? You could see his whole, his whole spirit just broke. And then, let, 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 let me. Let. You raggedy motherfucker. I don't care if YouTube demonetize this or not. Because eh. they think I'm cussing. I'm really eh. not cussing, but I am. Eh. What you did was you you basically bamboozled this entire family. Yeah. Because you knew that Ralph Angel came from an upstanding family mm -hmm. that knew that if you had this baby. You got to take care of him. That they were gonna do right by this goddamn baby. Yeah. So no, you won't never gonna tell none of them that it was a nope. possibility that Ralph Angel wasn't nope. this baby's daddy. Nope. Because that would have put what? The responsibility all on you. And that's what crackheads don't like. They don't yeah. like responsibility. Yep. And they would tell a lie, finesse, do whatever they gotta do. For to somebody to pay their way. I'm about to get heat. But look, I need to call my guy it, doing it therapist. It brought back a true story for me that I know about that somebody told me that I know. What's my therapist number? Hello? You got to call. This is what happened. I need an appointment for tomorrow. Hmm? All right, I'll be there at 4 o'clock. Bye. I'm going go there in a rabbit hole. I'll call quick. my guy therapist. And then we're going to get up out of here before we knock this camera over mad at our dollar. This dude for over 10 years was paying child support to this girl that said that this, this oh little my girl God. was hurt his daughter. And the bad part about it, the girl looked just like him. She sure did. I, I was convinced. This Everybody was, was this, convinced. This is his daughter. He spit her, basically spit her out. I've never seen anything like it. After over 10 years, the mama gonna come and say. After she was 18. Yeah. I actually felt bad. Felt bad. I don't think she yelled. She ain't, no, she said, she ain't yours. I did that because I wanted to make sure take care. that she was taken care of. He was tore up. He was tore up. And but he, he didn't believe it though. Yeah. He thought she was being mad, um, nasty. Yeah. yeah. For and over 10 years, paying child support faithfully. And every beyond. single week and beyond doing school clothes. I mean, just doing the works. And she gonna talk about after 10 years, she gonna tell him because she felt bad that she took advantage of him he after had, 10 years? He was in so much denial, he ended up getting a um, paternity test. Yeah. Because he still didn't believe that wasn't his daughter. Yeah. And I remember when the test results came back, it was devastating. I, I ain't said, never seen man. a dude like that. That same look yeah. was what I saw on Ralph Angel tonight. Yeah. But he ended up forgiving her. He, he forgiving her. He said, that's still my daughter. Yeah. But the simple fact is, is that People got that audacity to do that to people, man. With a straight face. With a straight face knowing you wrong. Mm -hmm. So if that's you out there we talking to, and you got a dude taking care of a baby that's not his, and, and he, he don't know it, and he don't know it, you need to tell him. Make that thing right. People get die from stuff like this. Yeah. You get killed from something Cause like I, I, We said Ralph Angel don't hit him. That's why I said, I said don't Ralph, hit him. Ralph Angel don't, because something like that, you don't mess. You don't that's play with like, the, like that. That's like the song said. That's a way to get you killed quick. Hmm. I got one, two, three, three four, four, five, four. six, seven, eight shooters. <laughs> <laughs> they rick it out. Please, if that's you, please make that thing right today. Call them. Tell them. Bring them over. Give them tea that was on the kept on porch. Whatever you got to do, make it right, man. Yeah, don't deceive nobody. Don't deceive man. nobody. Because you don't want nobody deceiving you. Yeah, he a good dude. If he a good dude, be straight with him. So Even he if he ain't a good dude, if he doing what he's supposed to do by that child, don't, yeah. don't lie to them like that. Yeah, that, that, ain't, that ain't cool, man. That's how you make a good man a bad one.
Uh -huh. I don't see that happen too. And at the end of the day, the kid be the one in up some. So what if Ralph Angel decided to say, you know what? No, I ain't getting married. You getting out. You take Blue with you. And nah, you for Blue yourself. staying there. If but, I got to drive down Louisiana, my God doing stuff. He's staying But there. if he was to do that, though, it's it's like, you couldn't be mad. I know Ralph Angel got his buzz getting he everything. Do. Yeah, you know. He's That's the only way we liked him for a while. Yeah, yeah. But I know Blue is his heart. Yeah, everybody's heart. Yeah. And she intentionally did this. Why didn't you tell him that before he got on his knees? Because she knew. Why? She knew. She had to lock him down. Yeah, she knew. He still ain't locked down yet. I'll I, I, I go over there and, and pay her lot rent And on the trailer. only reason why she did it was because her daddy told her to do it. Now, what The if? only reason why she apologized to her mama because her mama broke her down. Because she was go How you crack See? kids don't ever make it right until they're confronted that they're wrong after they come and tell you you wrong. But when now, you what I'm yeah, say, yeah. How you gonna confront somebody that know the truth with a lie? Yeah. And <laughs> That's what motivational speakers do. And act like you're supposed to go in. Don't you see me see you looking at me telling yeah. me a lie? Yeah. Don't, don't, I know what the letter said. I know the phone calls. I know what I came at. I know what I gave you. So don't act like we abandoned you. Yeah. We've we been here the whole we time. We created space. Yeah. So that we won't be going crazy with you. Yeah. God darn it. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty, God darn south. Two up. Dollar down. Ha!